Yo guys, what is up, it is Jurocraft and welcome back to yet again another Minecraft video and today we are back on the Kingdoms of Greymane map because I've decided that this map needs a lot of work and we need to make some changes. Yes, indeed we do. You see, this is the entrance into the Imperial Fortress and I've decided to make some serious changes to the exterior of this castle. You see, we have a lovely main walkway to the entrance to the castle but it seems to be completely cut off and nothing seems to be centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to change up this entire area for a nice little long video Let's Buildy Buildy on the Minecraft Kingdoms of Greymane map. Right guys, now hopefully with this video you guys are going to get a bunch of tips and ideas when it comes to building in Minecraft. I'm sure a lot of you guys love that kind of stuff. Now, I'm really, really OCD when it comes to building, so what I want to do is I'm first off going to clear out an entire section of this section. <laughs> I don't know, how do you want me to explain this? I'm going to basically clear out this entire section and have the pathway actually connect perfectly to the main square where we have all the market um, and shopping stores. So let's do that first. I am actually really convinced that my OCD in Minecraft actually helps me build awesome things in Minecraft. I'm not even joking. Like, every time I build, everything has to be symmetrical, make sure the bridges are perfectly angled, make sure the pathways are perfect, and this is going to be the biggest change in Minecraft Kingdoms of Greymane in a long, long while. I haven't built on this map in so long, I really can't even remember the last time I built on this map. But as you can see now, that when we reach the center um, plaza, that's what we call it in Spanish, una plaza, but um, it's actually a place where, you know, you can do a lot of shopping and basically trade and, well, sort out your merchandise, I suppose. I don't know, guys. But I'm going to have this pathway actually reach the market and I'm going to change where this is actually centered. So we'll have a nice extra big entrance into the market area and I might just even change this entire section completely. Um, we actually do need to take down this entire house and the problem with this is that I don't actually have any single player commands because it has not been updated and this is going to really suck. You know what guys, it doesn't really have to suck, does it? Because we have some TNT and TNT is gonna help us. It is gonna help us blow everything. Did it even work? Oh, okay, yes it did. It was kind of trapped in with that block. Let's add in some more TNT and this is going to help speed up the process a bit. And yes, this is going to be extremely risky because I'm putting a ton of TNT. But it's okay guys, trust me, everything's going to be fine, right? Right? There we go, perfect. Everything is... W wait, what? I could have sworn that was just on fire. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, we managed to clear up a bit of this building and that's going to help us out quite a bit, guys. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. Okay, so finally the path is complete and now we do have another OCD problem. Because as you can see, the bridge is not centered, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bridge, well, centered, what did you expect me to say? <laughs> but I'm going to start by breaking this off and I'm going to try and actually fix the buildings on either side as well, so they're kind of symmetrical and make it look like a sort of grand entrance. I might even add more than one bridge and have some vines hanging down and maybe some water on each side. It's going to look pretty awesome. So I think what I'll do is I'll have one tower over here and another identical tower maybe over here. The problem is, oh, I don't have single player commands so this is going to take a very long time to do but hell, who cares, let's do it. Well guys, I am extremely, extremely disappointed because I've been recording for an hour but it looks like it wasn't actually recording, so I've completely wasted my time. I built all this and you guys haven't even watched me build it. I'm so, so disappointed. I've even removed all of this and cleared it up because I was going to expand on the market and make a nice grand entrance into the castle. But anyway, this is what it looks like so far. In fact, I'm going to carry on building. I'm going to have to, if not, I'm not going to make a good enough video for you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some archways connecting the new market. 
Right guys, so pretty much for now, I'm going to expand the marker up to about the center of this walkway. So we're going to have one block of brick right here and another block of brick on this side as well. We just kind of do it, need to do a bit of clearing up and fixing up still, but um, we'll get it sorted. So I'm going to stick to the original design and use the stone slab to actually make some nice pillars. I actually like the look of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some archways, massive, massive archways, which join up to create the, the main entrance to the castle. So maybe something... Jesus, you scared the hell out of me, horse. What are you doing? Right, so I'm going to go for this design. I'm going to obviously expand on it a little bit more. But um, genuinely, we're going to stick to this kind of design. So we're going to have some cobblestone stairs over here to just, just basically expand on its size. Um, let's make this slightly bigger. In fact, let's push this back one extra block. And we can have stair blocks right against the stone pillar. Yeah, that's looking a lot nicer. All we have to do is replicate this over to this side. And we'll just make the pillar look a lot bigger. Just got to get rid of this shadow glitch. Kind of hate those, but it's fine. Right, I still somewhat feel like it's not good enough, so I'm going to try and add in some more detail, maybe, maybe with some cobblestone wall. Let's see what we can do with that. Add maybe two blocks on each side over here. Um, maybe flip the, the cobblestone stairs. That might work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do this. And yeah, I think this might just work. Yep, I think that's quite a decent design. We could even have maybe a fire pot in here, give it some extra light. We do need some lighting for the city anyway, so let's do that. I think I'm going a bit over the top with the detail on this thing, but um, I don't know. I think I'll keep it at that. Why not? I mean, in all fairness, I kind of like the look of this. It's not too bad. I might just finish off this top section I'm going to be using um, cobblestone slab, maybe a mix of stone slab as well. And you know what? No, actually, seeing as it's a market, um, I might actually stick to the spruce wood, although I don't want it to catch fire. Let me think about this. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go for the stone. I don't really want the fire to burn any of the spruce wood. Um, although I still seem, I still feel like something's missing. So I'm going to actually change this corner. And I'm going to kind of have it curve into the archway better. Rather than, than having a jagged corner in the end of each pillar. Um, I think this will work out a lot better. Yes, is it working? Maybe. We just need to add maybe some cobblestone slab and continue the pattern of the archway. That might actually work a lot nicer. So you can see how that is clearly coming together a lot better than it was before. Right, that's actually turned out a lot better than I expected, although it's not fully symmetrical, is it? Something's... there, there we go. That's symmetrical, right? Is it? No? It's not, is it? It's not actually symmetrical. What have I done wrong? What is going on? Mm, let me think. Right, guys. I really don't know how, but I think I managed to fix it. It's perfectly symmetrical. I mean, the problem with this right now is that I used a lot of single-player commands when I used to play on this world, and they don't seem to be updating single-player commands or world edits anymore, and it's really frustrating. I'm on Minecraft one point. 10 I believe and I really really need these commands if I'm actually gonna make huge progress on this map you know I freaking built this entire bridge by hand and I wasn't even recording this is what this is the most frustrating part about it but we've made a nice bit of progress on the map so far um, I'm really gonna just upgrade this entire marker have this whole section look a lot better because most of kingdoms of Greymane is actually just copy pasted buildings which have been slightly modified, slightly edited to fit up, to at least not look so repetitive, basically. My OCD is really kicking off in this map because there's such a mess everywhere. There's so much fixing to do 
and I just have this problem where everything has to be symmetrical and it's really frustrating. Oh Jesus, I thought that was a giant slime. Ugh, I got the texture all messed up. I need to actually change the textures to fancy, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to do it. I've been building already for three hours and this video is nowhere near done. At least I don't think so. Um, I don't know what I've recorded, I don't know what I haven't recorded, I'm just really hoping it's recording right now because I do not want to mess up again, if not, I'm not gonna be able to upload this video today. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so I'm getting myself an outline to have an identical archway right on this side over here as an entrance. And this is going to be one heck of an upgrade to this market station. That's what I'm calling it, a market station for some reason. Um, so let's just get an outline over on this side as well. And then we'll have sort of smaller size pillars just like these ones. We'll have it replicated right beside all the way across, joining both huge archways. And I'm really explaining this best as I can, but the best way to understand what I'm doing is just by watching me build. So I'm going to actually finish this off and see where it takes us. Right, so this is just about fine. We're going to actually create these small archways all the way across until we reach the other side of this of this walkway. And then we'll just replicate this massive archway on that side. And we can have some nice spruce wood archways come across all the way. Maybe even have some vines kind of hanging down. Should be pretty good. Let's see how this turns out. You know, in all fairness, I never really liked the look of this marker. I just feel like it needs an upgrade and that's what we're doing today. We're completely upgrading the entrance or walkway straight up to the main castle. Look how this is looking so far. And by the way, these are two towers. We're going to have two nice towers over here. Maybe even a nice gate. Ooh, what have I just said there? We could have a nice gate come all the way down to here and kind of make it look like we have a main wall into the castle. Ooh, let me know what you guys think of that. That might actually turn out to be pretty interesting. So I'll just kind of finish off these smaller archways off camera and then I'll just continue from there. Ay ay ay, if only I had single player commands, all I'll have to do is replicate this over to this side. A simple copy paste, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to do this by hand. This, this kind of sucks right now, but oh well. Okay, that's just about fine. I'll basically replicate this huge archway over on this side and then we can have a staircase leading down to this section of Kingdoms of Graming. Oh, this is looking pretty huge. We have a lot to upgrade and I just felt like it needed this change. It just felt really, really outdated and I needed it. I just needed it to make it... <laughs> I just needed it to be a little bit more epic because I like epic and the more epic I make this map, the cooler it looks, obviously, Jirocraft, what are you talking about? I really do like how this is coming together though. I really do like it. I like this entrance. It's looking magnifico. So let's see if we can experiment with the spruce wood. I really want to go with the sim a similar look to this. Um, we're just going to have some spruce wood archways and hopefully that will turn out okay. <laughs> I hope. Let's see how let's see what we can do. That shape should be fine if only we add maybe let's get some fence. Let's add it right underneath here and for support we'll just use nah, let's use some stair blocks. I think stair blocks should be fine. Or actually, let's go for spruce wood stairs. That'll look quite nice actually. And let's continue placing these blocks, creating a nice kind of step formation, creating an archway. We just kind of need to find the center point. I don't, I don't like how this is turning out. Uh, maybe we need to make some changes. Some changes. Okay, let's replicate this over to this side. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just have this come all the way across here. Let's just see how this looks. It really just doesn't convince me. Something about it is just not right. And I really don't know what it is. 
Maybe I just kind of need to expand on the building, but um, I don't, I don't, I'm really not feeling this. Right, guys, I've come up with an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the spruce wood, and I'm going to have a sort of overhang and have a lamp come down. So it doesn't actually fully join, but it acts like a sort of lamp. So let's kind of fix this up because it's kind of thick right now and it's really getting my OCD and OCD on this in this game is just not good. It's not good for my health. It really isn't. Okay, that looks a lot nicer. What we're going to do is we're going to get this to be cobblestone so it actually joins together nicely and we'll just have the spruce wood kind of come through here. Uh, actually, you know what, let's just go for spruce wood and we'll have the stair block kind of come out this way have a nice kind of shape that's a bit too much and we'll just have the lamp maybe here have some cobblestone wall we'll grab the glowstone might as well seeing as we're looking through our inventory and let's just add the fence and the lamp so how does that look I doesn't st oh, well, still doesn't convince me <laughs> um, I'm very very particular when it comes to these things I think maybe a brown um, Flag might make it look nicer. Yep, I kind of actually like that for some reason. Yeah, I think that looks kind of nice. Yes, yes, it's perfect. I love it. Um, that that's just fine. I don't know about this though. Yes, this this is it. Let's add another flag here because at the end of the day, this is going to be a market, and we do need a lot of clutter in this marker. I really like the look of this for some reason. I don't know why guys, maybe I'm over exaggerating, but no, I like this. I really do. Right, so that's done. I'm going for some brown and grey flags and I think that looks about decent enough. Let me know what you think though in the comments below. I'm not too sure about the grey actually. I think I'll just go back to brown. I just feel like this market needs to have a lot of clutter so this is a good start to, to the clutter. <laughs> um, what do you think of that though? I'm not too sure about it. I do obviously need to replicate it across and I do still need to do a lot of fixing up in this market area. But um, either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the spruce wood. Where are you spruce wood? Where are you? Oh god, I can't find it. So as you can see, we have this spruce wood slab row going all the way across joining from one wall to the other wall and everything behind this spruce wood wall will be the marker all this will be the marker and we're going to create another one of these lines on this side so it'll join up with the tower and join up with this wall and it's in this entire inner section will be a market i'll upgrade this entire place and it'll look great once it's all done Right guys, so unfortunately it is already 2 in the morning and I have done an hour of recording off camera which is really really unlucky and unfortunate but I'm gonna have to end this video here. Um, we did do all this on camera but it wasn't recording. I'm so so frustrated. But at least we've made a nice bit of progress and if you guys... Oi, don't interrupt me. And if you do want to watch some more Kingdoms of Greymane Let's build. Just let me know in the comments below and smash that like button. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Jirocraft over and out.